Seco Clock Dash Pa, mis saludos y respetos. Full last. Greetings to all. Hopefully, everybody's having a good day. Y pues, thank you. Big Tlazo Tlamati for the view. And for those who are new to the channel, man, welcome. My name is Manny, the Jaguar Paul. Welcome aboard, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna be getting some rain down here in Southern California. Man, about time, huh? It's always a blessing, man, to get some water around here, man. Considering the fact that we're in a drought, you know, things get expensive. So with a little bit of water, man, uh, you know, things, uh, get a little easier for everyone around here. Why don't we uh, get down to the motherfucking point? You know, what I want to talk about today is uh, the rules and regulations in prison. Speaking in general, criminals, people breaking the law, they go to prison for not following the rules of society for not respecting the laws of the land. But you end up in jail now, and uh, by all means, you gotta follow the rules and regulations of what you believe in. Does it make sense? I mean, I don't know. You get what I'm saying? So pretty much in this video, I wanna break it down to where I want you individuals that never been to jail, to prison, or maybe individuals that have but maybe are not able to see the big picture yet. I want you guys to listen to what I'm about to say. Sit on it. Analyze the picture I'm about to paint. And you take it from there, homie. Simple as that. Okay, no. So let's get ready, homie. Kick your feet up, get your feet still, get your leño, and uh, I'm gonna rest your full blast. You won't get see. Yeah, well, most of the time we get and we hear, uh, fuck the law. Yeah, well, fuck the law, but, you know, it's funny how uh, we end up in jail and we gotta go by the law. Hmm. So, yeah, man, uh, for those of you youngsters that never been to jail or prison, or maybe been to jail, never to prison or maybe on your way to prison not knowing you're out there committing crime you're out there flossing your gun on the gram you're over there on TikTok game banging putting up videos of yourself crossing up other neighborhoods Get this and that and wooty woo woo. Man, you sure look like a little tough guy. Do you know what you're doing, homie? Well, let me tell you something. The way you're living your life is to some considered reckless. To some, it's called the Vida Loca, the crazy life, right? She won't get sick. Hey, to some it's just another phase, to some it's just a gamble. We all have different perspectives towards life. We all see life from a different, uh, from a different angle, different direction. Some of us could share that perspective and some of us cannot. But in reality, at the end of the day, we gotta be realistic. We gotta keep it real with ourselves. We could lie to anyone else, but at the end of the day, can you lie to yourself? Just gotta keep it real, homie, 100%. And know that when you're acting a certain way and doing certain things, there's consequences to our actions. Hey, especially breaking the law of the land, homie. 
breaking the law of the land, we might end up in what they call jail, prison. I'm here to uh, shine some light upon situations that unfortunately a lot of us when we're young we don't we don't get we don't uh, always have a good role model around trying to direct us uh, a certain path in life other than just crime the streets gangs drugs so Trying to break that curse, trying to break that uh, that that uh, cycle on me is uh, my mission. It's so no, no one's perfect. I'm not a perfect man. Till this day, I struggle. I fight my demons, but at this, but at the same time, I uh, I conquered them motherfuckers because uh, we're warriors on me. We live in this life, but combined with a spiritual world where there's forces that the eye cannot see. Those are the ones that are very deadly, that are very, very, very evil, full of poison, that are looking forward it's to destroying true. young lives, smart individuals that have a whole future ahead of them. Well, going back to prison, jail, the rules and regulations know that if you go to prison, homie, you're not just gonna be laying on your ass or laying in bed all day, fucking smelling your motherfucking dirty ass feet. Nah, my boy. You're not just gonna be laying on your bunk, homie, counting the bricks on the wall. You're not just gonna be sitting on your bunk watching the idiot box and for those of you that don't know what the idiot box is it's tv homie at one time i had a sally much love to my homeboy uriel uri uri from pacuema bond street saludos homie wherever you at baby boy hopefully you got to go home my sally was a lifer or is a lifer as we speak Hopefully his appeal went well and maybe he's already home. But uh man, that was one of one of the one of the best sellies I, I've had. And I learned a lot from him. Very very sharp individual, very strong, mentally strong, physically strong. The homie was about a rutina. Mob. <laughs> homie love peanut butter, man. Shit. I never met no one that loved peanut butter so much. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so uh, Uriel, as we became Sally's, time went by. We started talking, getting to know each other, just like any other Celaya. They once you step in, they let you know, you know, their program. Everybody has a program in the cell. You know, everybody has rules and regulations. You gotta comply and, and go by them and respect them because you're moving into this guy's cell, his house, his casa, his comfort zone. ¿Me entiendes, Mendes? So of course he's gonna greet you, welcome you in, introduce himself. He lets you know his the rules and regulations he has in the cell. Listen up, man. Aside from house house rules, when I mean house, when uh, every individual has rules in their cell. Aside from that, there's also rules in the yard, depending on what area, what what car, what rampla you claim it. So rules on top of rules. And when you're there because you broke the rules and you don't believe in the rules of the land, society. Wow. Some of us are not too happy with rules sometimes. But it's crazy in how we are creatures of habit. We adapt. 
and we learn to respect rules and regulations, especially when the ultimate punishment is physical, violent, painful. Oh. Got no choice, man. Yes, sir. <laughs> So the homie, you know, welcome me in and, 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 you know, do, you know, your basic reglas, you know, uh, depending if you're on the top, the bottom bung. One thing about the homie, he, he loved the top bung. And at first I was like, what? The top bung? Serio? He's like, you can have the bottom bung. I don't care about the bottom bung. I was like, wow, okay, that's a first. Because everybody likes to fight for the bottom bung. Everybody wants the bottom bung. For some reason, you ask anybody, or even if you've been to jail or prison, am I lying? Am I right or wrong? Everybody wants the bottom bunk. I wonder why. Anyways, so, he's like, you could, you could have the bottom bunk. Okay, cool. He liked to be on top. He had his little remote control homemade customized remote control and this was maybe newspapers rolls real thin like a long little what like maybe five or six inches so when he's on his bunk he's able to reach to the buttons that's the remote prison remote it comes in handy and then um you gotta come into an agreement with your sally who's gonna use the speaker and who's gonna use the headphones? I mean, this is back then. Now I hear that most TVs don't have speakers on, or maybe they did come back, I don't know. Because for, for a while they were taking all the speakers out of the TVs and you, you had to use your headphones. So there was always a little uh, conflict of interest when it came to having the headphones and the uh, regular speaker uh, that was on the TV. You know, a lot of dudes didn't want to wear the headphones. Like, fuck, that, I don't want to wear that shit. But for some reason, he liked the headphones. Okay, cool. And and mind this, gentlemen, just because you're you have a nice pair of headphones doesn't mean that you're gonna be walking the yard with your headphones on and <laughs> enjoying your feeding me fucking Dr. Dre roll out or Ice Cube or wherever. <laughs> Whoever you listen to. Nah, it don't work like that, huh? By all means, you gotta have one and one ear up. Like, you, you gotta be able to listen to what's going on on the yard or in the dorm or even in your cell. You always gotta be multitasking. And uh, it's part of the program. You know, a lot of homies sometimes they don't even take their CD players or radios, whatever, whatnot, to the yard because of shit cracking off, things happening, and there goes your your gadget. There goes your your mom's, your your family's hard hard working money. So yeah, I remember Woody telling me, man. Yeah, well, he's like, I don't turn on my TV till prime time. I'm like, well, man, what's prime time? Prime time is, what, after 4 or 5 o'clock, all the new shows come in, and uh, the news, the breaking news, uh, the evening news, um, yeah, all the good, good shows and, you know, talk shows, and he's like, all day long, all they show is reruns and novellas and dumbass fucking Jerry Springer and all these talk shows and shit that feed you poison, that keep you that keep you, you know, limited, mentally limited. You don't grow, you don't learn nothing from none of that. None of that. You know, I'd rather pick up a book, I'd rather study, I'd rather educate myself, I'd rather work out, you know, train my body, you know, and, and grow mentally and physically. But nah, I'm not gonna sit there and allow the idiot box uh, waste my time or try to educate me in a in a in a dumb way. Wow, I was like, okay. And I didn't know how to take it at first. If he was miserable, like some lifers, or if he was really talking from the heart, like, okay, yeah, that's a good point. Idiot box. Hmm. 
So it took a while for me to really uh, sit on it and, 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 and grow from it. And believe me, you know, as years went by, I, I started adapting that program where my TV would stay shut. I mean, early morning, yeah, you wake up, you turn on the news to see what's going on early morning. And, you, you know, you're drinking your coffee, you're getting ready for breakfast. But uh, once you come back from breakfast, you're getting ready to either go to school, to work, or whatever your program. Uh, some some Saturdays like to work out early, some don't. Um, some like to read, study in the morning. Some have jobs, like I said, vocation, whatever. Life goes on. Like I said in a previous video, you got to work. You got to have to do something. You just can't stay back and, and do shit and be a bum. Yeah, you got your yard bums. That's what we call the homies or individuals or inmates that don't have a job. Don't go to school. Don't do nothing. Yard bums. <laughs> they're, they're on the yard all day long. All day long. And you would think they'll probably stay in their cell asleep all day. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Whether you have a job or not, you're not going to be in the cell all day asleep unless we're locked down. Yeah, you're going to be mandatory yard, homie. Sun or rain. Sun or rain, mandatory yard. Wow. Imagine that. And we don't got no shade in the motherfucking yard. No trees. No benches. Well, yeah, there's a couple benches here and there. But they're not, they're not under no shade. And let me tell you, the little bit of shade we get on a handball wall or maybe of a building, uh, the COs get on you. Right away, they chase you out of there. Yeah, sometimes you get lucky. Sometimes some of these COs allow it. But it's part of their rules to not allow inmates next to no building. Mandatory yard, best believe that. It got to a point sometimes where homies had to even provide a doctor's note statement. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since the the hunger strike and the homies got out the shoe and you know the peace that came in between all factions in prison, you know program keeps running no matter what. Something goes down, we get locked down for a, for a few hours or maybe a day or two, but resume, resume program. People sometimes <laughs> pray for a lockdown, man. They're looking forward to that cell time. You know, it's, it's, it's like back then we were always locked down. We couldn't even go to school, work, Stuck in the cell 24-7, smelling your Sally's bell. Ooh. It's almost like yard, 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 yard all day, yard all day. Fuck. Man. Shit, I remember that. It's raining mandatory yard for the homies down south. You know that, homies. Wow, it's almost like shit. You gotta be out there with your poncho, getting wet, sometimes soaking wet. You know, the first unlock, which is once they open up yard, is mandatory. After that, then they have unlocks every half hour, every hour, depending where you're at. Every yard, every prison is different. And it's mandatory for the homies down south. So, you young little homies that are out there doing foolish things, allegedly breaking the law, keep that in mind, homie. You get locked up, you're going into zone. Interesting time in your life where they're going to make you, homie. Best believe that. It might seem and it might feel like they're breaking you, but they're, they're banking you, homie. And for those of you that don't like to do their laundry, <laughs> you're going to do your laundry in there, homie. There's no ifs or buts. You can't be lazy, homie. It's all about survival. Got to survive up in that motherfucking break house, homie. Yeah, you get there, you get brand new blues, brand new whites. I'm talking about prison. 
And after that, I mean, all that turning in your laundry for the prison to wash it. Nah, homie. We, we don't, I mean, most of the homies, I mean, you're able to do it. But most of the homies, we don't get down like that. We don't do that. Once, for, to me, once I get a fresh, brand new pair of whites, which is socks, boxers, t-shirts, or even blues, I wash them myself. Just like my own personal gray shorts, uh, shorts or, or t-shirts you buy from the vendors. I wash myself. I buy my laundry soap every Sunday, every Saturday. I do my sheets. Same thing with my sheets and my blankets. That's the only thing I probably trade every two to three months. That's the only thing I do take to the laundry room, which is my blankets. Other than that, I get brand new sheets. I wash them and stack up every now and then when they give them out and uh, have an agreement with your sadly who's gonna do laundry on Saturdays or Sundays because you need the space in the cell to hang your sheets and dry them out. Both of you cannot have that. Another uh, situation is cleaning, cleaning. Uh, you gotta clean in there, my boy. You can't just be lazy. You ain't got no maids, motherfucker. Shoot. <laughs> so yeah, no, yeah, you ain't got no broom in a cell. You ain't got no mop, homie. You gonna get on your knees, homie. You're gonna get your floor towels, what they call it. I mean, uh, sweep your floor with it. Side to side, side to side. You collect all the dust, dust bunnies. You could tell right away when motherfuckers ain't clean because if you look under a bunk and there's a bunch of dust bunnies, that means that man has not cleaned his floor in days. It don't get that bad overnight. And it's a mandatory clean every morning. You wake up, that's the first thing you do after you brush your teeth. After you got your coffee brewing, you hit the pad. When it comes to the toilet, homies, the sink. Man, I'm telling you, the toilet, that toilet is, is probably the cleanest, the cleanest uh, spot in the motherfucking prison yard, the toilet. They give you very good, strong disinfectant that cleans that toilet pretty good and every time you do number two you have a green pad or you hit the toilet you know clean it up real good so the toilet stays clean no matter what when you piss some sallies like to sit down not sit like women you straddle that motherfucking toilet the other way around you lift up your sleeve of your shorts and you stick out your como se llama on the side and let it out. Yeah. So I hear these dudes from out of state talk shit. Oh, that's that's a bitch move sitting down. Any bitches sit down and piss like, nah, my boy, we don't sit down like that. We straddle that shit the other way around like a chair. You no, know? lift up your sleeve, bam, and let your shit hang. The only time we sit down is when we take a shit in the and everybody sits down and take a shit. Men and women. So for those of you fucking ignorant motherfuckers out of state talking shit about California and how we get down, that's not in your business first and foremost. And that's out of respect between killers, between gangsters. That's out of respect. Ain't nobody gonna go around pissing all over the floor and toilet. Nah, that's disrespectful. And another thing why we, 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 we straddle the toilet it's because they only give us one roll of toilet paper. And what are you gonna do every time? But that's gonna waste a bunch of toilet paper. Cleaning, 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 cleaning over fucking little drops of piss. Come on, homie, common sense. Basically, yeah, this is pretty much wrapping it up. You know, mandatory yard, mandatory work, vocation, mandatory uh, clean, mandatory laundry, shoe, mandatory workout. Mandatory, uh, shoot, fuck. Everything is mandatory. Whoa. So, homie, you're out there gang banging, dog. You got something to look forward to. And it starts in the county jail, believe that. And it goes over to reception and then prison. So you're out there fucking around, homie. This is what you got to look forward to. 
whether you got a good day or a bad day, homie, you got to comply with the rules and regulations of your environment. Yes, sir, environment. So, with that said, homies, hopefully I didn't leave anything out. And if I did, por favor, put it down in the comment section. Gracias. Talk to me. Let me know what's up, homies. With that said, I'm Manny the Jaguar Paul. Much love and respect. Have a good day. God bless. Warriors. Right.